Okay, so what am I getting up to over here? Well, recently I uh, did a little bit of work with uh, forging copper. And so it got me to thinking that I would like to try to do some copper casting. So, uh, scratching my head and I was thinking, well, I need a crucible. And I would like to kind of do this MacGyver style, I suppose. Just whatever I have on hand, see if I can uh, uh, put that all together and make something that'll work. So, what do I have? You know, I have a little bit of uh, cement, and I have some sand, and then uh, this here is a crushed up fire brick, a piece of uh, high heat fire brick that I just, uh, you know, I just smashed it up and then uh, worked it into a fine powder. And, you know, will this work or not? I don't know. I mean, I'll just try, I'm just really experimenting. I haven't checked anything on the constituents for this, for a, a successful crucible. I'm just, like I said, kind of just winging it right now. So uh, what my plan is, is to mix equal parts cement, uh, crushed up fire brick, and sand, uh, and then just, you know, add enough water to get that to a paste, and then I'm going to uh, put that within this little cup. I just want to make a very small crucible, and uh, uh, put that in this cup, work it around, and then uh, use this piece of steel to, uh, to just uh, hollow out the center and hold that in there until it's dry. And then once it's dry, then I'll uh, see, you know, I'll probably fire it in my forge and see how that, that, you know, how it stays together if it does. And if it'll hold up to high heat and then uh, melt a little copper in that and then be off to the races. So, yeah, we'll see how it works. Like, again, like I said, I just kind of wanted to do this. I don't want to go out and buy a crucible right now. I just wanted to try to use what I have on hand since this is not something I'm probably going to do uh, often. Yeah, you know, uh, cast copper, that is. So... Yeah, let me get at it. Let me mix these things together and we'll see what happens. Come on, Ant, get out of there. Okay. I don't know what's up with these ants. They all want to become part of the crucible. Come on, hit the road, Jack. Take that. All right, there we go. I have no idea, like I said, if this is going to work. I guess if I had clay, that would be ideal, but I don't. And, uh, you know, I just kind of figure that with the cement and the, the high heat fire brick, that that'll make a, uh, a high heat cement, I guess. We'll see. I feel that rather than using this piece of steel, which maybe the uh, the cement mixture might stick to and be hard to remove, I'll use uh, this piece of wood, which is actually a little, little wider diameter, and it, this will probably be better. So just to make sure all the air bubbles are out, the mixture is mixed up well. And then see if I can just depress this in to a point right about, right about there. Yeah, so I'll let that set overnight, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so here it is a day later, and it's dry, and it's seemingly pretty hard. And, you know, what I noticed now, though, is that this cup, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a crack along here, and that crack extends to the top of this crucible, so I, I just can hope that that's not all the way through. And I think what happened was, is this cup originally had a fine crack, and that's why I used it. And then when I inserted this wood, and when it was slowly drying, I think the wood absorbed the moisture and expanded. And so it increased that crack size. And like I said, I can just hope that the crucible is not totally affected and that, that it's just superficial. So, you know, I've tried to kind of rotate this wood out and, you know, nothing doing. So what I think I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll just break this cup open and, uh, and then see maybe I can throw this whole thing in my forge and burn the wood out. So, let's see.
Failure. Look at that. It just took that right with it. Uh, let's finish breaking that off. Nope. Well, now that came out. It's it's actually it's still it's very very moist inside here. But you know you can see uh, the wall diameter is pretty thin, so I should have probably used that that piece of metal would have been better for this size I think. So but you can see yeah, it it it's totally not totally but pretty much stuck to the sides of this. So yeah, that's not gonna yeah. Well, no, not completely stuck, but yeah, definitely uh, a total and complete failure. So what I what I think what I'm going to do is I was scratching my head, and I think it would be better if I didn't use sand. And instead of the sand, I think I have a red clay brick. So I might break up red clay brick and make that into uh, powder and add that to a little cement and then uh, a, a fair amount of the uh, fire brick. And, uh, you know, we'll see how that works. All right, so here we go again. So now I've got uh, equal parts uh, cement, uh, the fire brick, and red clay brick. And to the cement, I've added just a little bit of sand. So, uh, you know, basically equal parts again. So let me mix these up and make the paste and see what we can do. And then for the form, I decided I have this little plastic uh, plant uh, container. And I think that would work just perfectly. So I see, you know, I taped up the bottom, the holes at the bottom. And then I'll use this piece of wood again, and I think that will be much easier to remove. And uh, that will also allow this thing to, to dry completely, and then I can fire it in my forge and to, to, to drive out any extra moisture. I rotated the wood after about one hour, so this way it would be loose and easy to remove. Okay, so it's been one day, and uh, this is dry on the top, but I'm assuming the sides are probably not dry. But, uh, um, you know, so basically I'm going to cut this open and then fire it in my forge, but I already think that this will not work. And it's based on, uh, this is a piece of that mixture. I just uh, let this set on the side, a little extra that I had. And, uh, you know, so this is really friable. And then uh, this is a piece of the same stuff that I, that I fired in the forge. And it's a little harder, but still friable. So pretty useless. Uh, these pieces here, this is a piece of uh, the first go-round uh, with, you know, the, uh, the cement mixture without the clay. And this is a little harder, obviously. So, you know, this seems actually, like, much better. So I might actually go back... Assuming this is not successful, which I'm guessing, I might go back to this. But then, you know, this is a piece that of that that I fired, and that, that just psh, crumbles. So, you know, I'm going to have to rethink this, you know, but, uh, yeah, never fear. I have a third idea. Okay. There we go. There's the uh, there's the unfired crucible. So I'm gonna fire this anyway and see what happens, but I think it's gonna be the same result. And then I'll move on to the third method. So now this is take three. I've got one quarter part cement and three quarter parts crushed up uh, fire brick. So we'll see how this one goes.
So uh, this is the crucible from the second mixture, the mixture with the red clay brick, and I fired it, and then it, it did seem like it might be a bit crumbly, but then once it cooled off, what I did was I submerged it in water and let it soak up water, and then I just pulled it out, set it aside, let it dry overnight, and now it's really hard. So it actually seems much better. This seems like it might work. What I did was is also, since it doesn't have a lip, I just took an old file and uh, just was filing a groove in here to try to create sort of a lip for, for pouring. So I'm going to give this one a go and see how that works. You know, melt some copper and see if I can just, how, how I can pour that out. So other than this one, which I'll try now, uh, uh, the third one here is dry. And I, I really do think this one is going to work well. So uh, what I'll do is let me, uh, let me cut this open. Okay, so there's this uneven looking crucible, you know, because uh, this thing here, I just kind of recycled it, and it's not very even. So, uh, yeah, this, I, I think this is actually going to work pretty well. This is pretty moist right now, uh, still a little crumbly, so I'm gonna, going to uh, let this dry some more, and, and then uh, maybe fire this one as well in my forge. And I don't know if I'll use the, uh, you know, the uh, method where I dunk it in water like this one, but we'll see. But, you know, first things first, I want to try this one and see how it works. So I fired up this third crucible, and then I set it aside and let it cool completely. And then once it was completely cool, I submerged it in water, just like the second, and it just disintegrated in my hand. Complete failure. So that leaves me with all my money on the number two horse here, and hopefully this will work. So far, so good. I took it out just to examine the copper. And I pulled it out one more time to add some flux. I set this old fire brick down just to have something to pour the copper onto. There's a glob inside that didn't come out. So this test of pouring copper uh, was successful. You know, obviously I just poured it out. I wasn't planning to make anything, but that's what I will, I'll do in, in a future video, is uh, cast some copper into a specific shape. And as far as the crucible, you know, the main plan for this video, I'm, I'm pleased with how this came out and how it worked. I didn't think that this second, uh, this second mixture would work, but it did. Uh, how long will I be able to use this? I'm not exactly sure. But uh, in the future, I also have an idea to make some crucibles out of ceramic clay. So, yeah, thanks a lot for watching this. I'll catch you guys next time.